Hello and welcome to this silhouette tutorial. My name is Ben Brownlee for Boris Effects, and we are going to be taking a look at a new concept in Silhouette 2022, the surface, and how we can use this within our tracking and transforms, and possibly more importantly, how we can also use it to speed up our compositing. Okay, and here is the shot that we're going to be working on. And we are going to be replacing this yellow poster in the background. Now, I've already got a tracker here. And if we take a little look at this, I've got this tracked in. I've got the two shapes that I used for, uh, for tracking. I have my transform data in the matrix, just as we would do normally. So if we take a look at our object parameters, you'll see that I have a corner pin. That was the traditional way of doing the uh, the four corner pin distort on the uh, on the layer itself and you can see as i move the corner pin around that it actually changes up the uh, the layer i'm just going to undo that because underneath this corner pin we have this new parameter called the surface and if you've worked with mocha before then you'll already know about the concept of the surface so let's see how this works in silhouette I'm going to come up above my viewer and I'm going to turn on my surface control right here. And you'll see that I get a blue box just as we had in Mocha. And if I move the, uh, the corners of the blue surface, take a look at what doesn't happen to my, uh, to my layer. So the layer itself remains in place. So what I'm doing instead is I'm transforming just the surface and I can transform it directly on the viewer or using the parameters in the bottom right. And I can use that to move my surface into place. And I'll do this just to line up with the, the poster. So now I have surface data for where I want to put the, uh, the poster in there. But if I play this back, you'll see the way the layer looks is, is a little bit more uh, kind of consistent. So the nice thing about this, it avoids the layer kind of turning in on itself when we're trying to do a lot of, uh, of heavy lifting with a corner pin. Very handy. So now if I want to come in and replace my uh, poster with, with something here, all I have to do is come into my transform. I'll add a transform onto here. Pipe the tracker inside here and I can go into transform. Under transform, we have an extra mode. We have the match move and the stabilize that we're familiar with, but we also have insert. And insert is gonna place our clip within a surface. So I can choose my yellow poster. There we go, lovely. That looks like it's taking in the, uh, the movement of the yellow poster. Let's have a look at that as a comp. Yep, looking pretty good. If we take a look at this node that I've got coming in from my main comp, I've actually got a nice little alpha channel coming in through here that I've already created with a bit of roto to cut out uh, the, uh, the girl's head. So if I pipe that in to my composite, take a little look there. That's going to play, play back for us. Have a little look here at the speed that this is uh, compositing. So it's moving forward, but it is sort of chonking along a little bit. Because there's another thing that we can do with that surface data, and that is with the, uh, the DOD node. So I'm going to place a DOD node after our main footage. So this is the domain of definition, and you'll probably have seen this and worked with this uh, if you've used Silhouette before. Now, if you're eagle-eyed, you will have seen that the DOD now has a data port into it as well. So what I can do is I can take this data from the tracker and pipe this into my DOD. And in the, uh, the node parameters, I can choose the yellow poster as my DOD layer. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna automatically set the DOD to the limits of that surface. So now if we come back and have a look at the, uh, the composite node back down here again, you'll notice that because we're actually looking at far fewer pixels than we were before, everything here is processing really, really quickly, and we haven't really had to think about anything. 
So not only is it focusing our attention to the area that we're working on, but it's also speeding up the render times. And I can make all the other little changes I need to, just blurring that, making the color correction, and I'll end up with my final result here. All made a lot faster and more convenient using the new surface within Transform and linking tracking data to my DoD. I hope this has been helpful for you. My name is Ben Brownie for Boris Effects, and I will see you again very soon. If you've enjoyed this and you'd like to learn more about Silhouette, head on over to BorisEffects.com for hours of free tutorials on Silhouette and all of the Boris Effects products. You'll also be able to download a free trial version to start working with it yourself.